Hey Fantastic You, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, glad to have you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can be friends. We are painting today on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. We're doing four flip cups color wise. I've got them in the order I'm gonna layer them in. So we've got brilliant blue, primary blue, light green permanent, phylocyanine green, white, primary yellow, nathal crimson, deep violet, and white. So other than the white, it's all liquid X paints. The white is artist loft, just cause I find liquid X white does not play well when it comes to a flip cup. So I'm gonna get these filled up and I'll bring you back. There we go, they are all full. So let's flip these cups over. There's a little hair on that one. Okay, so I've got about 105 grams or a little bit more of each color. I have mixed it one part paint to one and a half parts pouring medium, give or take. My pouring medium is my 60% PVA glue, 40% water. So we're gonna give these a minute to release and I'll bring you back. Okay, it's been a couple minutes. So <laughs> let's get these pulled. I gotta remember, because it's 16 inches down, I got to pull a bit further than normal. I tend to do 12 by 16 size paintings. That's my kind of go-to size. So when I go up a size, it's a little more tricky. So hopefully I don't uh, mess this up. Beautiful colors. doing the edges that's gonna get tilted off so don't have to worry about that I wasn't sure which color was going to be dominant but I'm kind of getting I got the red the yellow the green that purple has created almost a like a nice pink pinkish purple color there's that one That's gonna get tilted off. I'm just kind of wetting that part of the canvas. That's all. Ooh, this looks a lot different than I thought it was gonna look. Losing all my paint. It's not going where I want it to go. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. Okay, let's flip this around. We're going to tilt this way. Now, I do have three drops of silicone in each color other than the white. I've done about one drop per 30 grams of mixed paint and pouring medium. Okay. Well, it's moving nice. I was worried it was going to be a little too thick. Just trying to kiss those corners together there. Ah, my stuff is moving. Okay, I'm gonna do this side first. Just 
just feel like I need to. Let's come back. It is so much trickier doing the bigger canvas, I tell ya. I'm gonna go over this side. Bring it back. Trying to get the paint back in the center. Let me wipe my hands. I got that big one in there. Not much I can do about that one. I feel that if I was to run my little silicone doohickey thing through it, I would just make things worse. So we're not gonna do that. But we are gonna torch. Just cleaning off my hands. and pop bubbles. Lots coming up. <laughs> Lots of fun colors. I am liking this one. Tol again, totally not what I thought was going to happen. That is the probably the best thing about the style of artwork is it's very hard to actually get <laughs> what you're seeing in your head. And then if you do have a mistake, sometimes they turn out to be happy mistakes. So that makes it even better. I do have a couple areas where I got a little close. A little sad about that. I want to get a little bit more there. Not too worried about that end because most of that's going to get tipped off. There we go. We got something. They're not really round. They're weird shaped coming through. I don't know how well the camera's picking that up. But, either way, I think this is going to be a fun painting. Okay, we've let them grow enough. So, we're going to tilt off the rest if I can get this off my doggy pads. So I'm just trying to walk the paint down. that edge. Perfect. Come back to the center and then we'll go over the other edge. Let's bring everything back. Sorry, trying to keep you in frame. This is very oh, psychedelic. Is that the word I'm looking for? There. Very bright. I knew it was going to be bright with the colors that I chose. But it's actually brighter than I thought it would be. It, it reminds me of a bag of candy, like Skittles or something. That's what it reminds me of. I am going to torch right in that area, see if we can get a couple smaller cells to come up. There's a couple popping through. But there, what do you think? 
too bright, too many colors, perfect amount of colors. There's some really neat looking cells in here. So very happy with that. That one there, see another cell grew in it. So it, it looks a little weird, but you can't win them all, right? But thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. I really appreciate it. Until next time.